Good morning friends, welcome back to Pannika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss various types of inheritance such as single level inheritance, multi level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, multiple inheritance and hybrid inheritance. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. What is meant by inheritance? Inheritance is a one class deriving the properties or inheriting the properties or futures is called as inheritance. Like you have a parent class, the child class will derive or inherit the members, properties or futures, whatever you can say. Okay. So now let me discuss about the single level inheritance. In a single level inheritance, you will have the class A. Okay. A class A can let's take that it has a variable v1 variable v2 a method m1 method m2. Now class B is extending using the keyword called extends. It is extending the class A. So class B is inheriting or deriving the properties of class A. So in Java if you want to use the inheritance, we will use the keyword called extends. Okay, so class B here is the child class and class A is the parent class. Okay, or even you can say this is a, a subclass, this is a superclass, or this is the derived class, this is a base class. Any terminology you can use. So, suppose let's take that class B is having the variable v3, variable v4, method m3, method m4. Now, class B also gets the properties of class A. So it will have the variable V1, variable V2, method M1, method M2 which has been inherited from the class A. If you create an object for the class B using the syntax, okay, you know that class name, object name is equal to new, then class name. Using this syntax, if you create an object, using this object, you can access the members of the class B and also the members of class A. So this is what the meaning of single level inheritance. So you have a class A which is inheriting the or class B is inheriting the properties of class A. So here class A will be called as super class or it can be called as a base class or it can be called as a parent class whereas class B can be called as subclass or the derived class or it can be called as child class any one of the terminology you can use okay so this is about the single level inheritance suppose if it is a multi level inheritance you will have a class A and then you have the class B now class B is inheriting the properties of class A. Then class C is inheriting the properties of class B. So now what is happening? What are the members are there will be derived to the class B. Okay, the members of the class A will be derived by the class B. Now the members of the class B has been derived by the class C. Now class C has the members of the class A and also class B and its own class. If you create an object for the class C, using that object, you can access the members of members of class C, members of class B and also the members of class A. The, here the members are nothing but the variables and methods because a class will is a, a collection of members, meaning is that it is a collection of variables and method so this is an example for the multi level so even you can go a class d is inheriting the class c so this is like you normally in our life, real lifetime it is a grandfather father and the grandchild according to him okay so here b is doing the polymorphism meaning is that what it is doing it is acting as a parent for the class c it is acting as a child for the class a so with respect to the a b is behaving differently with respect to the c b is different okay so the same b is playing different roles here so this is what the example for the multi level inheritance what is a 
a hybrid inheritance is sorry before going for the hybrid let me discuss about the hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance means a class a is there from the class a class b and class c will be there meaning is that class b is inheriting the properties of class a similarly class c is inheriting the properties of class a so what are the properties are there for the class A, B has been deriving and also C is also deriving. It is like the father is there, whatever the properties of the father, if let's say that he has two kids, the two kids will get. Not only it's like that it is two, it can be multiple. Like A, D class can derive or inherit the properties of class A. So it is like a hierarchical. Okay. Suppose similarly from the B's class, someone else can also derive like D, E, F. So D class is inheriting the properties of B, E class is inheriting the properties of B, F class is also inheriting the properties of class B. So this is an example for the hierarchical inheritance. Multiple inheritance is from two classes. Let's take that you have a class A. Okay, let me write here. You have a class A and you have the class B. From these two classes, a class C, meaning is that Class C is inheriting the properties of class A and also class B. It is like, let's take that your mother is earning, your father is earning, they both will save some money, finally the kid will get that money. Am I right? So, similarly here, let's take that from not only two, multiple, just for an example I am telling, that is why this word is called multiple. So, from multiple classes, one class. So, class C can inherit the properties from multiple classes. If it is a single level inheritance, the class B is inheriting properties from only one class. But here, the class C is inheriting the properties from multiple classes. Okay, But in Java, this is not possible using only the class concept. We need to discuss about the inher interfaces concept. Okay, So, I will discuss what is an interface. Then I will discuss about this multiple inheritance practically in the Java. Whereas hybrid inheritance is a combination of, let's say that single level inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, like that, the combination. So such kind of inheritance we'll call it as hybrid inheritance. Now let me discuss a program for each scenario. First let me discuss about the simple Java program for single level inheritance. Okay, let's take that I have a class A. Class A is having a variable. Suppose int p is having the value 10 and then you have the method called display. Okay, and then inside the method you are just printing the p value. So system.out.println, okay, p you can write, you can close the method, you can close the class. Similarly, I am taking another class called B, which is deriving or inheriting the properties of class A. As I said earlier, you can use the keyword called extends to inherit the one class from another class. So, the extends is the keyword in Java. Okay. Now, class B is having one variable called Q is having value 100 and then I have a method called show it will just display the q value so system dot out dot print ln q okay close the method and close the class now what will happen this class b will get the variable p having the value 10 and also it will get the method called display because that is what the inheritance use okay class b is inheriting the members of the class a now if i create a driver class or the main class okay suppose let me write in uh, in her example ex okay something in that case what you need to do you need to save this program in her ex dot java where j should be a lower case okay you know these things am i right if you are watching all my videos in a sequence by this time you know 
and you know what is a, a driver class a driver class or the main class will have the main method so you will use public static void main and then you need to take a string array so yes should be capital and string array and then what i will do as i said earlier if you want to access the members of class a and class b you can create an object for the class b okay so if i write create an object for the class b like this you know the syntax and if i call the method called display similarly if i call the method called show this is absolutely fine okay even if you want to access you can access the variables which are instance variables p and q also however we are just displaying here so i am not using otherwise you can write ob1.p ob1.q okay and you can assign some values or you can print those values so whatever the things you want to do you can do now if i close the main method and if i close the in her ex class okay then if i compile the program and run the program i will get the output see has the class b is also having the display method which is inheriting from the class a then once you create an object the display method will be invoked and the p value is 10 so this program will give the output as 10 and then ob1.show it is displaying the q value which is 100 so this program will give you 10 and 100 as an output now i have a one question suppose let's take that i have created this object ob1 for the class a now my question can i access the display method using the object created for the class a yes once you access a method using an object for a particular class it will search whether such method is there or not yes there is a display method which does not take any arguments and even here also we are not passing any arguments so this is absolutely fine so it will print the p value which is 10. suppose now you are calling the method called show using the object created for the class in a class a is there any method called show it is not there so it will give an error for you so point here is that child class will inherit the properties of class a parent class but parent class will not derive or inherit the properties of its child class see a parents will give their properties to the kids but parents will expect love they will not expect the kid properties am i right so that is what the beauty of the parents and the child relation in real time and the same one they have used in the inheritance now let me discuss about the multi level inheritance we will use the same thing class a and class b now what i will do i will change this part class c is there which is inheriting the properties of class b so i am using the keyword called extends and b now inside the class c i have some int r is equal to thousand okay then i have the void show one is the method and here i am displaying the r value so system dot out dot print ln and i am writing r and let me close the show one method and then let me close the class called c now you know that class c will get the members of class a and also the class b because class b has got the members of class a now class b is having the members of class a and also its own members so that one you are extending so here class c will have the instance variable p and display method and also it has the instance variable q and it has the show method and its own methods now if you write the driver class or the main class let me write class in her ex okay and then i am writing public static void main and you know that string ox some array ar let me take okay i hope it is visible for you now if i create an object for the class c what is the way of creating an object 
class name okay object ob is equal to see any name you can use okay is equal to new class c then using this object called ob i can access the display method which is there in the class a similarly i can access the method called show which is there in the class b similarly i can access the method called show one in the class c okay and then let me close the main method and let me close the class now what it will do ob dot display so it will display the p value as 10 and then ob dot show it is displaying the q value which is having 100 similarly it is displaying accessing show one it is displaying the r value which is 1000 so you will get the output as 10 100 thousand so this is an example for the multi level inheritance now let me discuss the scenario for hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance is what you have the class a from the class a class b and class c is extending so what i will do the modification here is that instead of class c is extending the class b i will write class c extends extends class b sorry not class b then it will become multi-level inheritance we are discussing about the hierarchical inheritance so now class a is there from the class class a class b is inheriting the class a class c is also inheriting the class a this is what the scenario now in this case class c will get the members of class a alone which is a p and then display method and it is has own members now if you create an object for class c you cannot access the members of the class b am i right is it clear so it will give an error for you when you write ob.show it will give an error for you so what are the methods or what are the members you can access you can access the class c and you can access the class a then you can write okay you can write ob dot display similarly you can write ob dot show one okay similarly if you create an object for the class b let me write ob1 is equal to new class b using this object called ob1 you can access the members of class a and class b itself okay so i can write ob1 dot display okay ob1 dot display and then ob1 dot ob1 dot show but if I write ob1.show1, then it will give an error for you because class C or class B is not inheriting the class C from A, B and C are coming. So B is inheriting the properties of class A, C is also inheriting the properties of class A, but there is no relation between B and C. So they are not doing the inheritance among themselves. So this is what? This is a hierarchical inheritance suppose from b and c some d comes then this is what with respect to these two or these three this is what multiple inheritance with respect to a b c it is hierarchical inheritance so such kind of inheritance because it is having a combination of hierarchical and then multiple this kind of inheritance will call it as hybrid inheritance i hope you are able to understand but anyway without discussing interface concept we cannot discuss about the a multiple inheritance so we have done with the single level inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance remember one important point before discussing about the a hybrid inheritance let me again tell you the point multiple inheritance means class a is there class b is there class c is inheriting the properties of class A and also the class B. So how usually we need to write class C extends. Am I right? Because for inheritance we need to write extends. If I write extends A comma B, this is not allowed. 
am i right because class c is inheriting the properties of class a and class b so if i write comma it will give an error for you so without discussing about the interface concept we cannot discuss the multiple inheritance for discussing a, a hybrid inheritance i will discuss with a simple example let's take that there is a school class from the school class you are having two child classes let's take the teacher one class teacher two class so what is this kind of inheritance this kind of inheritance is an example for hierarchical inheritance teacher one is extending or inheriting or deriving the school class properties similarly teacher two is also deriving or inheriting the properties of the school class now what i will do is that from the teacher class the teacher has the dependent one or the husband one something okay let's take that husband so now this is what this is what this is a with respect to the teacher one and husband is a single level inheritance so you have a single level inheritance and a hierarchical inheritance so this is what a hybrid inheritance similarly from the husband let's take that you have a kid class now the kid class is deriving the properties of husband husband is deriving the properties of teacher one so this is what a multi level inheritance so you have a multi level inheritance and a hierarchical inheritance so this we will call it as a hybrid inheritance so this entire program writing on the board is not practically possible i will discuss all these programs and also i will discuss this program in the desktop to show you the output let me have a class a so we will discuss about the single level inheritance in the class a i will have a method called display underscore a in this method i will write a statement called system dot out dot print ln and i will write i am class a okay and then let me close the method let me close the class and then i will write class b extends class a now class b here here class b is the class b is the child class child class and class a class a is parent class okay now you know that child class will get the all the properties of the parent class so void display underscore b is the method i'm writing inside the class b inside this method i want to write a statement called system dot out dot print ln and i want to print the statement called i am class b and let me close the method let me close the class and let me have the a base class or the not base class sorry main class or the derived class if you observe clearly i saved this program as first dot java so the main class or the driver class should have the class name which is equal to the file name so that's why i am writing it as first so this one i can call it as a main class or driver class okay so meaning is that in this class only you will have the main method so let me write public static void main then let me have a string array okay string ox where ox is the array name and the data type is string now i want to create an object called ob1 for the child class b you know that the syntax to create an object class name object name new class name now using the object ob1 i can call the method called display underscore a which is belongs to the parent class and also i can call the method called display underscore b which belongs to the class b which is a child class now let me let me save this program and you can guess what this program will give you the output i am class a okay and then here here it will display the output as i am class b if you have a doubt let me compile the program so i will go to the command prompt and you know that all our programs will be there in the desktop java programs folder okay there i will write java c first dot java to compile the first dot java program there are no errors now let me run the code so i will write a statement called java first 
see i got the output as i am class a i am class b so this is single level inheritance what i will do now i will discuss about the multi level inheritance so what it is i will take a class c extends the class b okay so now you can say now you can say class b is parent for class c and also class b is the is the child for child for class a okay is it clear so the class b is behaving as a kid for or the child class for the class a and it is behaving as a parent for the class c so it is doing the multi role okay now look at here you know that class b is inheriting the properties of class a and class c is inheriting the properties of class b now indirectly class c will get the properties of class a and directly it will get the properties of class b now what i will do i will define a method called display underscore c and i will write a statement called system dot out dot print ln and i will write i am in class c i am in class c let me end with a semicolon and i will close the method and i will close the class now what i will do instead of creating an object for the class b i will create an object for the class c and i will try to access all the methods which are there in the class a class b and class c okay now if you execute this program you will get the output as i am class a i am class b i am class c okay so this is what multi level inheritance you have a parent class you have a child class then the child class is derived by another class so here class a is a, a grand parent class b is a parent class c is the gra grand child or the kid with respect to the a and b okay now let me compile this program so i will go to the command prompt clear the screen let me write java c first dot java there are no errors now let me run java first see you got the output as i am class a i am class b i am class c now let me discuss about the hierarchical inheritance you know what is an hierarchical inheritance you will have one parent class that one parent class is inherited by multiple child class so what i will do here is that i will consider the class a is the parent class and class b and class c are the child classes for class b and class c are the child class so let me write properly c h i l d child classes for class a so this is an example for hierarchical inheritance from one parent multiple child classes so class b extends class a this is fine class c instead of writing as extends b you are extending or you are class c is deriving the properties of class a now if you compile this program see what you are doing you are creating an object for the class c now you can access the methods which are there in the class c and class b but you cannot extend or access the methods which are or numbers which are there in the class b so here this statement you will give an error for you okay so let me compile the program and show the error for you what i will do is that i will compile the program again because we have done the modifications see you got an error cannot find symbol ob1 dot display underscore b symbol method display underscore b location variable ob1 of type c this is the error you are getting so using the object for the child class you cannot access the members of the class b okay because here c is the child class for the parent class a so what you need to do you need to create you need to create an object for the class b also let me write b o b 2 is equal to new new b ends with semicolon now using the object o b 2 you can access the 
methods which are there in the class A and also which is there in the class B also. But however, okay, I will show you that one. However, you cannot access. First, let me execute this program. So here you will get the output as I am class A, I am class C. Similarly, you will get output as I am class A and also you will get an output as I am class B. Okay, look at here. Let me save this program and go to the command prompt, clear the screen, compile the program. There are no errors. Now let me run the program. Java first. See, you got the output as I expected. I am class A, I am class C, I am class A, I am class B. So this is an example for hierarchical inheritance. Let me try another one. Now I want to access the a method which is there in the class C. Can you do with the help of an object for the class B? No, it will give an error for you. Look at here. Let me save the program and go to the command prompt and then let me compile the program. See, you got an error. Okay. I hope you have understood about the hierarchical inheritance. And already I have discussed multiple inheritance is not possible using class concept in Java. For that one, we will discuss the interface. Now what I will do is that I will discuss about the hybrid inheritance. Okay. How I will take that hybrid inheritance example is I will take a school class is the parent class the school class is the parent class from the parent school class the school is having two teachers so here teacher one and this is teacher two so teacher one and teacher two are the child classes for the parent class called school this is what kind of inheritance this is hierarchical inheritance okay what is meant by hybrid inheritance combinations of uh, various inheritance like single level inheritance with multi level inheritance. So now what I will do is that for this teacher one, I will have a husband. Okay, because let's take that this teacher is a, a woman. He has, she has a husband. Then this is what this kind of example is a single level inheritance. So you have a hierarchical inheritance with respect to the school and teacher one and teacher two. Now teacher one with the husband is single level inheritance. Now husband has a kid. So now kid is deriving the husband properties. So then this with respect to all these things like teacher, husband and kid. This is what multi level inheritance. I hope you have understood. So you have the hierarchical inheritance combination with single level inheritance combination with multi level inheritance. So this is an example for hybrid inheritance. Now let me show this one or write this code for this purpose. Okay. Let me remove all these things. I will press control A and delete everything. So first we need to have the school class. Okay. Inside the school class, I will write void display display underscore school method and inside this one I will write system dot out dot print ln and I will write I am school class or let me write I am school okay now what I will do I will copy this statement and I will modify it for every other method okay let me close this one so you have a school class now teacher one is extending the school class so the teacher one is the child class and school is the parent class so this is an example for single level inheritance now let me copy this one and here let me write display underscore teacher one and i can say i am teacher one okay and let me close this method. So this is an example of a single level inheritance. Now let me introduce the hierarchical inheritance. So teacher two also extending the properties of school class. So now what is it? The school class is the child cla parent class for the teacher one and teacher two classes. So teacher one is inheriting the properties from school class and also teacher two is also inheriting properties from the school class okay now what i will do i said earlier there is a husband class okay husband class 
inheriting the properties of each of one class so this is what single level inheritance now what i will do is that i will write a method oh, oh, here we need to write teacher to i forgot to write it okay and here i will write husband okay now here i should do the modifications according just we are copying and pasting we are not modifying okay i am teacher to here i need to write i am husband of i am husband of uh, teacher one okay now let me have a kid class which is extending the properties of husband class so now husband is the child class for the teacher too now kid is a child class for husband so among the teacher to husband and kid it is a multi level inheritance among the school and teacher one and teacher two it is a hierarchical inheritance so this is what a combination of multi level inheritance with hierarchical inheritance so this is an hybrid inheritance okay is it clear we are making it clumsy clumsy so that's why i am calling it as hybrid okay let me write it as kid and i am kid i am kid of teacher one okay now what i will do we have done enough let me have the driver class or the main class if you observe we have saved this program as first dot java so the main class or the driver class main class or driver class should have same name same name as file name okay so that's why file name is first dot java so the main class name is first okay but you should not write class first dot java the java is extension there so public static void main okay public static void main string aux okay string aux then let me have a object k1 is equal to new new kid okay now look at here using this k1 object you can access the method display underscore kid display underscore husband display underscore what is it teacher one and also school we will try it okay k1 dot first we will access the display underscore method okay similarly k1 k1 dot display underscore husband okay because here the husband is the parent class for the kid now similarly i will write display underscore teacher one because the teacher one is a a grand parent class for the kid because a kid class is inheriting the properties of husband class a husband class is inheriting the properties of teacher one class so it is like a grand parent parent and then child okay now similarly teacher one class is inheriting the properties of the school class okay that is what the hierarchical inheritance we have discussed so display underscore school okay let me close the main method let me close the class i hope there are no errors okay we will try our luck let me clear the screen and let me compile the program by god grace we did not get any errors let me run the program java first see i got the output as i am kid of teacher 1 i am husband of teacher 1 i am teacher 1 i am school similarly similarly if you create an object for object for uh, what you call teacher 1 okay teacher 1 is equal to t1 is equal to new teacher 1 then look at here teacher 1 is inheriting the properties of school class so you can access the methods or the members of the school class so you can write display underscore school okay and you can write display underscore teacher one because teacher one is having its own method and it is also deriving the school class method because it is inheriting the school class so this will give you the output as i am school okay i am school 
and similarly similarly you will get i am teacher one this will be the output we will get let me save this program and let me clear the screen and let me compile the program because whenever we do the changes we need to compile the program otherwise whatever the earlier program you have written that you will get as an output if you run directly see i got the output as i am school i am teacher one now let me try to access the method called display underscore kid using the using the object created for the teacher one stating that teacher one is the grandparent for the kid it will give an error for you is it clear let me let me clear the screen and compile the program see you got an error see a grandparent will give their properties to the a parent parent will give the properties to the kid but grandparent will never export the properties from the the kid or from the child or from the grand child they will expect the love but love we cannot give using the programming language okay so the i hope you have understood so this is giving an error so with this example i hope you have understood about the single level inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance and then hybrid inheritance and even i have stated a point that multiple inheritance is not directly possible in java using the class concept we will discuss that one using the in interface okay i hope it is clear if you still have any doubts related to this concepts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day